fine so in profit and loss we discussed that profit and loss is default calculated on cp cost price discount is calculated on discount is calculated on labeled price or markup price similarly this topic depends on single point try to avoid formulas try to understand the concept give high priority for that in this topic interest is default calculated on principal simple note on that interest is default calculated on principal interest is default calculated on profit and loss calculated on cost price similarly interest is default calculated on principal during your first year you people also know there is one program to find simple interest and compound interest also maybe at that time you would have had some formula and complete that program maybe but right now they may ask for different situations in compound interest and simple interest we are going to address all those fine so interest is default calculated on principal right now few points before going for the topic is terminologies in profit and loss what is cost price what is selling price we know when you got profit when you got loss we know likewise here we should know few terminologies suppose you borrow some money you money borrowed is nothing but call you taken a loan or you taken some amount from other person money borrowed is nothing but call principal or else it is also called sum money borrow is nothing but called principal or sum okay so sometimes people they last find the sum means find principal only find sum means find principal only and what is r in the terminology is going forward is r is nothing but rate of interest in common simple terminology what is this you know interest means profit only you are getting extra amount or you are getting less amount because of interest you will get extra amount interest means nothing but profit percent per year only rate of interest is nothing but profit percent per year the terminology which you people already know profit and loss rate of interest is very much similar profit percent per annum and the units for rate of interest is if you see textbooks they'll say rate of interest 10 pcpa what is pcpa is nothing but pc means percentage pa means per annum pc is nothing but percentage pa means per annum interest percentage per annum interest means profit that's why i said rate of interest is nothing but profit percent per year per annum per year is same only interest means nothing but like profit only okay profit percentage per annum so we can call okay profit percent per year is nothing but rate of interest both same okay so principal rate of interest okay next very very important is timing must be in years only your job you have to convert the given timing in years any question especially simple interest especially simple interest your job you need to convert timing in terms of years see some questions don't expect every time time is 3 years 4 years no suppose you practicing practically you take in a home loan or car loan in a bank after 6 months or 7 months you got the amount you want to close it when you go to the bank they don't ask come after one year exactly then only will close the loan is not correct okay if you are done with uh, okay if you have amount you can go and close the loan complete uh, up to that point whether it is one year seven months or one year three months what is the interest for that can you you complete it and what is the principal you close the loan they don't ask to come exactly after one year come exactly after two years no each and every day also interest is going to calculate it so you have to convert time in terms of years and generally timing can be in months and days also so then what to be done see timing if it is 3 months what we can do in terms of years means 1/4 of year because 1 year is nothing but 12 months 1 year is 12 months if they given the question 3 months means your job is to write it as 1 by 4th of the year if it is 6 months half of the year okay and if it is 5 months 5 by 12th of year no problem 
5 months means 5 by 12th of year. 1 month is 1 by 12, 5 months means 5 by 12th of year. All these are fine, but very, very important is 73 days is nothing but 1 by 5th of the year. Sir, this is the asked in one of the recruitment as well, in terms of days also. In fact, in your booklet also, we kept a question with 73 days. So what about the 73 days? How we call 1 by 5th of the year? Most of the time, we'll get non-leap year, right? Compared to leap year. We have leap year and non-leap year. Non-leap year, how many days? 365 days. They considered here non-leap year. Non-leap year is nothing but 365 days. If you divide by 5, what will happen? 365 divided by 5 is 73 days. So, 365 is 1 year. 1 by 5th of the year is nothing but 73 days. So, timing you need to maintain in terms of years, especially in simple interest concept. In fact, we'll use it in compo interest also. But this is how you need to do. 73 days is also they're asking. You can write it as 1 by 5th of the year. If it is 5 months, 5 by 12th of the year, like that. So later to timing, what is principal, what is rate of interest, we got the idea. Now, some important input regarding simple interest and compound interest. One main difference. Okay, then we can go for the questions. Uh, one basic example, how these two are differed. We'll give one terminology or one some theory, then we'll support with some problem. Then we'll see the questions. I hope up to now you got the clarity. Interest is calculated on principal. We not take use of this. When you go for the questions, you can understand why this sentence, how it is going to be utilized. Whereas money borrowed is called principal or some rate of interest. Units are by default per annum. Some questions they'll say rate of interest is 10%. By default, you should understand it is per annum. If not mentioned, default units are per annum only. Default units per rate of interest is per annum. If not mentioned. Sometimes they'll say rate of interest is 1% per month. They mention, okay, 1% per month. Also, they can say for one month, 1% one means for 12 months, 12%. Means 12% per annum. That way you can convert if required. That's not a problem. So not mention anything in the question means you consider per annum only. Per month and all, very, 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 very rare they are giving. You check any textbook, out of 100 questions, one or two questions only, they'll give rate of interest per month or something. They'll specify or else by default per annum only we should consider time in terms of years you know now very important point is in simple interest interest is not added to the principal that's it interest is never or not added to the principal interest is not added to the principal simple interest What about compound interest, sir? Interest is added to the principal after certain time. Interest is added to the principal after certain time. Interest is added to the principal after certain time. So what is the timing? The timing, if it is one year, we call compound annually. Certain time I mentioned, if the timing is one year, we have to say compound annually. In fact, in question find compound interest, they mentioned, sir, they didn't mention anything. Means you have to do compound annually only. No, sir, interest is added after every six months. After every six months, you add interest to the principal, we call compound, compound, semi-annually or half yearly compound half yearly if interest is added after every three months compound quarterly compound quarterly after every three months interest add to the principal compound quarterly so no every month every month interest is added to the principal Compound monthly. Compound monthly. And this is very important, my dear. After you got the job, 
two or three years after you have to apply all these things in your mind and whether to go for home loan or not whether to purchase take the car loan or not which is better whether to have some saving some cash and then purchasing which is better all you need to calculate this is going to decide your life also along with the career growth back to invest the amount which is beneficial to you you need to think about this is all going to teach you and see sir how this bank system running this is out of the topic but still related to this i'm just trying to connect you people so guys see how this banks are running and in fact sir simple interest compound interest which one we are using practically sir my dear friend everybody including banks government banks or private banks everybody using compound interest too. simple interest is ideal case no one is going to apply if somebody is giving simple interest means they are like god for us nobody is going to apply simple interest okay all are going to apply compound interest only even banks and in fact how banks are getting profit you know see uh, there are two type of things in banks one is fixed deposit those who are rich kids they have some money okay their parents they want to deposit some amount in the name of that kid in the childhood itself some 10 lakhs or 20 lakhs for 10 years or 20 years or 30 years some tenure they want to put in the bank right fixed deposit we call right so they suppose let's say one of the parent they deposited 10 lakhs in the name of their child okay for 10 years something what is the rate of interest you know bank is going to give for them 6% hardly or 5% 4% also some cases if your age is more you will get less fixed deposit rate of interest if you are very child kid then your that depends on that age also goes to play role fine but in how hardly 6% is what the rate of interest they are going to pay what is 6% meaning you know let's say 12% means 12% per means 12% for 12 months right means 1% per month can i say okay 1% per one month what is 1% you know 1 divided by 100 means 1 rupee interest 12% rate of interest means they are going to pay 1 rupee interest for every 100 rupees you need to pay 1 rupee interest extra every 6% means 50 paise interest when you are doing fixed deposit the bank is adding after every year the very important thing not only about 6% they are going for compound annually when you deposit amount in the bank they will add interest after a year suppose sir it's like i i want to take my amount bank due to uh, some emergency after 11 months they don't add interest for you exactly after a year only they are going to add okay so every year they are going to add interest to the principal that to how much 50 paise per every 100 rupees but same bank you go and take personal loan the rate of interest is around 16% instead of 6% rate of interest is 16% or if you have good credit score or all things 12% worst case okay and that too they do compound monthly every month you need they'll add interest to the principal that's the magic there after every year here every month that accumulated and they'll get more amount the difference is how the banks are running how the private banks also generating the amount is because of that okay when you do fixed deposit that amount the some people fixed deposited that amount these people take and give the loan for the other people it will be circulated it is generating amount that's how the things bank system is running if they want extra amount that banks will go to rbi they will put a loan this banks also take loan from rbi private banks also so they they will take 100 crores or something they will get the amount then they will rotate with us okay with rate more and more rate of interest likewise so that's how the system is going and depends on sibil score you may not have idea right now but depends on the score how you pay credit cards all those things on time or off uh, late if you have less credit score rate of interest is more if credit score is more rate of interest will be less means you credit score more means you are a sincere person you are paying all payments on time okay no delay in payment means okay they'll get give it for their risk is less right they are paying on time everything bank risk is less so they'll give for less interest but if your credit score is less means you are not doing on time payments 
that is credit score or some fridge you taken for EMI, all those. If you don't do on payment, that will be recorded. Your score will be reduced. Means they'll put high rate of interest score. Sometimes loan also not sanctioned. If civil score is less than 600, loan will not be sanctioned. So there are some criteria when it in how will it be. Okay, but that's all out of concept. But that's how the banks practically this is going to happen. Simple interest, no one is going to apply. You will let you know within next 30 minutes discussion. You will also get the idea. Sir, so compound interest only. I'm getting more amount. If you are getting more amount using compound interest, why people go with simple interest rate? Right? We'll go with compound interest only because, in fact, going forward, you'll understand simple interest is having only addition effect. Compound interest is having multiplication effect. You'll get more amount in less time in compound interest. Simple interest, more time, then only you'll get some amount, more time required. But here in less time, more amount. Multiplication will give huge amount compared to adding something. So that you will understand. So everybody is following which one? Compound interest only. And in simple interest, interest is not added to the principal. In compound interest, interest is added to the principal after certain time. And if not mentioned, default we have to do compound annually. After every one year only we are going to add interest to the principal. If sometimes they specify compound half yearly, compound quarterly, compound monthly. If they don't say like that, you have to do compound annually only. Are understanding that? Right. So why compound annually if they don't say? Which is generally what we do. If nobody says anything, we'll do easy things, right? So among quarterly, half yearly and all, annually is easy. So that's why people will go with compound annually, if not mentioned anything in the question. Find compound interest, but not mentioned annually or quarterly or half yearly means we'll do annually. That's how things are going on. Now let's see one situation, sir. Till now only theory dumped in our mind. Let's go in a practical value related. First point you have to keep in mind is interest is default calculated on principal point one. Second point in simple interest, interest is not added to the principal. Okay. In compound interest, interest is added to the principal after a certain time. No form is nothing. This is sufficient to solve all the questions. Right. But here in the some updates you will get. Okay, well, so on the questions. I'm taking example one. I'm considering principal is 10,000. You take any amount. I'm giving one example to understand the theory what we mentioned so far in practical representation. Rate of interest is 10% PA, means per and timing three years I'm mentioning. Now I want compound interest. We'll give in three to four different approaches. Try to understand all three to four different approaches, what are we giving? Because some approaches will help you in some other way. All approaches have its own advantages. When calculator alone, let's say TCS company in gate exam, calculator alone. In that one approach may be easy for you. When calculator not alone, other approach may help you. So I'm giving you multiple methods, right? Here, whether I mention compound quarterly or anything, no means then what do you have to do? Compound? Annually by default, we have to do right now. Principal 10,000. Okay, first year completed. Annually means after how much time you have to add interest to the principal? After how much time? Annually means after every year. Here, not mentioned means we have to think about compound annually. Compound annually point one. Because of that, I am waiting for one year. Rate of interest 10% means what is the meaning? Interest is 10% for one year. Rate of interest 10% for annual means interest is 10% for one year. I hope it's visible to the last one. Right. Now, first year completed, interest is 10%. And now, after every year, as it is compound annually, interest is added to the principal. What is the principal? Principal here, 10,000. Interest to be added. Interest is calculated how? Interest is calculated on? What is the principal? What is the interest? 10% of 1,000, 10,000. 10% means 1 by 10 by year. Whenever 10% I'm asking, you have to say divide by 10. What is 10% of 10,000? 
thousand. Now see, eleven thousand is the new principal. This is the new principal updated. Previously, principal is ten thousand. Now, as we already clearly mentioned, okay, as this compound annual interest is added to the principal. What is the interest? Ten percent of ten thousand. Why ten thousand? Sir, interest calculated on principal. So ten percent of ten thousand. Principal is ten thousand at that time. We got thousand, and interest is added to the principal. First year completed. Next second year again. What is the rate of interest for second year? Ten percent. Recently, in TCS company, first year five percent, second year ten percent, third year twenty percent. Rate of interest. They may change also. But if you had the formula in your textbooks, they give rate of interest constant only. Every time ten percent, then only you have some formula in your textbook. But rate of interest every month changing. Again, you need to add two or three new formulas. No need. Okay, I'll tell you. Okay, if it is different, also same. First year five percent is five percent of this. Second year ten percent is ten percent of this. Third year twenty percent is twenty percent of the previous. Right now eleven thousand plus ten percent of ten thousand or eleven thousand. I have to calculate. New is this one. So we have to calculate ten percent of. Eleven thousand, eleven hundred become twelve thousand hundred. Next third year, what is the rate of interest? Ten percent. So ten percent should be calculated on twelve thousand hundred. That is the updated principal. This is the new principal. We need to calculate on this. So ten percent, twelve thousand hundred plus ten percent of that is thousand two ten. Hope you got thirteen thousand three ten. My dear friends, what is thirteen thousand three ten means? Compound amount it is. Compound amount. That is called CA. Compound amount means see you given ten thousand to your friend. Your friend returned thirteen thousand three ten for you. Thirteen thousand three ten is not your profit, not the interest. You given ten thousand. What is the extra amount you got? That's what the profit. That's what the interest. So you given ten thousand after three years it become thirteen thousand three ten that is called compound amount. What is the interest here? What is the extra you got? Three thousand three ten. That is why compound interest is nothing but called compound amount minus principal. Compound amount is thirteen thousand three ten. Principal is ten thousand, which is three thousand three ten. We have multiple methods. Don't worry, but try to understand this method. Okay, this is justifying all those what we said so far. Rate of interest, ten percent means that is default per annum. Means ten percent is the interest you need to calculate for one year. Right. Then compound annually. If not mentioned, we'll take compound annually by default. And every year interest is added to the principal. Check it out this approach. Any way doubt, please let me know. If they give five percent, ten percent, twenty percent, also no problem. First year five percent of ten thousand, adding for that amount next year ten percent of that, adding then for that amount twenty percent. You can do like that also, no issues. If rate of interest same or different, same procedure, no problem. But not depending on any formula here. This is basic procedure. Generally recommended when calculator not allowed. Recommended when calculator not allowed. So if calculate allowed, what is the best? I'll give the next one. In TCS exam, calculate allowed. Okay, which is better is method two approach. This is method one. Method two approach will help you to do the question bit fast when calculate is allowed. Or if you are very good in simplification, cancellations and all, method two still you can do without calculate also. I hope you understand this. Please copy that first. Now let's move for the next question. Our same question, sorry, other methodology. See, principal ten thousand, right? Our principal first year. What is the rate of interest? Ten percent. Interest is increasing your amount or decreasing your amount? Increasing your amount. 
Next second year. Second year, what is the rate of interest? Ten percent. Okay, it is also increasing your amount. Third year, also rate of interest, ten percent. Right. Now you know principal is ten thousand. I too agree. Or else I just want to justify in this question at least how the formula in your textbooks are given. After all these increases, final amount is what we call compound amount. That is not interest directly. We have to subtract that amount with the principal to get the interest. After all these increases, finally you are getting compound amount. Now this is how the textbooks formula. What are the developers? This is the fashion. Principal P. 10% increase means I can write 110%. We know in profit and loss percentage is 10% increase means 110. Sir, here I said in compound interest, interest is added to the principal. See the justification actually. This is 100% plus 10%. 100% means one. That is P into that principal. 10% is the interest. You know that 110% gives that idea. Okay, ten percent is the interest. Hundred percent means one. The P will go inside. Right? P into one means P. Principal is there, and we need to add interest. How much interest? Ten percent on principal. This is going to justify that interest is added to the principal. One ten percent is given. First year we are adding interest to the principal. Second year also we are adding interest to the principal. Third year also we are adding interest to the principal. Right. See, if suppose you need to do in exam, okay, already as I mentioned, TCS company they given five percent, ten percent, twenty percent. Then what we'll do? It is five, ten, twenty, one not five percent, then one ten percent, then one twenty percent. Okay, then you can calculate easily, right? So here compound amount principal, you know, ten thousand principal is ten thousand into one ten percent whole cube. If you do this calculations, we will get thousand three, thirteen thousand three ten, because one ten percent means one point one my dear. How sir? One ten percent means one ten divided by hundred. Eleven by ten is one point one. One ten percent whole cube means one point one whole cube. Eleven cube is thousand three thirty one. That's why I said this method generally recommended when calculator alone. First method one. Calculator not allowed. This is when calculator allowed because you should know 11 cube value. Or if it is 20 percent interest means 12 cube value. What is 120 percent means 1.2. Those all things required. The second method in general recommended when calculator is allowed. Okay. Now if you do, we got 13,310. Principal is 10,000. What's the extra amount you got? Is what compound interest. That is compound amount minus principal. This is second method in general recommended when calculator is allowed, right? So, sir, I am preparing for ESC exam. Oh no, calculator not allowed. Other than TCS, any recruitment in MNCs, calculator generally not allowed. Even in TCS also, virtual calculator allowed, not physical one. In top right side, like gate exam, we have one calculator there. You need to click with mouse. Calculator will be open. Only basic calculations, multiplication. Addition or division, those things only we can do, right? Fine. Okay. Now I just want to justify how you got the formula in your textbooks. Before that, please copy this. Compound amount is thirteen thousand three ten. Right. So now, how the formula is developed? Ten thousand here is what? What is ten thousand? This one principal. Right. One ten percent can be written as hundred percent plus. Hundred percent means one. Ten percent means can I write ten by hundred? 
whenever you got 10 percent we are allowed to write 10 by 100 100 percent means one now see you got last equation there compound amount as 10,000 into 110 percent whole cube i'm just using that to develop the formula as you people already mentioned 10,000 means principal 110 percent can be written as 1 plus 10 by 100 i hope you know how we got that one 100 percent plus 10 percent 100 percent means one 10 percent means 10 by 100 what is the rate of interest for this question we taken rate of interest how much 10 that's why the 10 is replaced by r 3 is nothing but timing how many number of years this is what you people can find formula in your textbook ca is equal to 1 plus r by 100 whole power n and listen there is one more formula compound interest how we will get ca minus principal so they will write ca here and minus p this is the other formula you can find in textbooks but what is the drawback in this formula you can go ahead only when rate of interest is same every year if it is not same then that formula won't be useful right and this formula only for time is number in terms of years compound annually only for half yearly again this formula waste if it is half yearly we didn't discuss half yearly now this is only for annually formula so again half yearly one formula quarterly one formula no but the procedure what we did so far if you understand we can solve half yearly quarterly all in the same way you'll, you'll understand that we are not yet done with the topic this is only the basic introduction to differentiate what is simple interest and compound interest and we given some introduction like interest is added to the principal after every year and interest is calculated on principal so you have to understand that that's why we given all this input so far and we have one more method one more method to calculate compound interest and i strongly recommend that method three only this is all for your understanding purpose but method three is very easy actually next method what we are going to discuss is very easy but so far hope you understand this is only to develop the formula how formula is developed to justify that i given this formula developing and here this is method two recommended only when calculate value but method three method three compound interest for first year compound interest for first year what is the principal? 10,000. R is rate of interest which is 10 percent per annum. Interest is calculated on principal rate. So interest is 10 percent for one year. Principal is 10,000. Listen, directly 10 percent of 10,000. First year interest is 1,000 rupees. How sir? I have a doubt. Go back. This is what compound interest for first year. The thousand is compound interest for first year. Right. So here, okay, that is why 10% of 10,000. And why we call then why how we got the name compound interest, you know? Or else we say compound wall. For our house, compound wall, or for our college, compound wall. What is that? Why we use the word compound there? One by one, accumulated. First one for that second one, on that one more brick, first brick, second brick, third brick, we are putting one by one, one by one, compounded. Right here, compound interest because interest for the interest. Compound interest. Vaddi ki vaddi, chakra vaddi. In Telugu, we call it chakra vaddi because we are calculating interest for the interest. Compound interest is interest for interest. That justification you can understand here. Sir, why they call interest for interest? You can see the justification at least for that year. How to get compound interest for second year, you know? First year, 1000, I hope you got the clarity. Now, the justification, you can see, this is compound interest for second year, not for two years. Some people have a confusion. Compound interest for second year only. If suppose, what is your percentage in this semester, overall percentage is different. This semester your percentage is different, overall two years percentage means you have to add all first year, second year, all those marks 
everything to be calculated. So I'm asking only for second year basis, not for two years. How to calculate for second year? You know, what is previous year interest? Thousand, thousand plus. Now this is listen, interest for the interest. Thousand is previous year interest, right? What is the rate of interest? I'm calculating ten percent for this. I'm calculating interest for the interest. Ten percent is interest. I'm calculating for thousand. That is interest only. What is ten percent for thousand? Hundred. Second year compound interest is eleven hundred. No sir, I have a doubt. Go back. Go back. What is this eleven hundred? Is compound interest for second year. Eleven hundred is compound interest for second year. Interest for the interest. So how to get compound interest for third year sir? What is previous year interest? Eleven hundred plus ten percent for that. What is ten percent for eleven hundred? One ten. Means third year is thousand two ten. Check here. Third year how much? Thousand two ten. Right. So then for three years means I had all those three years. If you want for three years. Thousand, 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 three thousand, hundred, two hundred, three thousand, three hundred. Along with this ten, three thousand, three ten. Compound interest for three years is equal to three thousand, three ten. Three thousand, three ten. Series. First year, second year, third year. Interest for interest. And this method will take less time and not much calculations. In general, this is recommended to do. Quarterly half will all those will discuss. Don't, don't worry. We are still in the introduction part. Just we are understanding. Okay, what is the difference between simple interest and compound interest? So far, I given compound interest. Next, for the same data, we will do simple interest. Then you understand the difference. Then we'll see the questions. In questions, we'll see about quarterly case, half yearly case. If time is two years, three months, how to handle? If time is two years, seventy-three days, how to handle? Everything. Different different scenarios will be addressed. Don't worry. Done so far, All right? So compound interest for three years is three thousand three ten. Now we'll go for simple interest also. And I said in one of the point, simple interest is like addition effect. Compound interest is multiplication effect. You can see why multiplication effect is here. One ten into. I'm not saying ten plus ten plus ten thirty. I'm not writing there. I'm writing as one ten multiplied by. One ten multiplied by one ten. This is why compound interest we consider as a multiplication effect. But what we do in simple interest, you know, ten plus ten plus ten, thirty percent we will take. Why you have to take? We'll address that. Simple interest is like addition effect, and we'll get less interest for the same details. Take principal ten thousand, take rate of interest ten percent, take time as three years also. We'll see. We'll get less amount in simple interest. That's why everybody. Okay, is following compound interest only, and now let's see the example related to compound interest done. Simple interest one example will address. Then we'll go for the questions. For the same data, principal ten thousand, rate of interest ten percent per annum, time is three years. Now we are trying to calculate simple interest, and very important, you know, in simple interest, quarterly, half yearly, we are not discussing because if you do quarterly, also same amount, half yearly, also same amount, annual, also same amount. Five plus five plus five plus five, five four times is twenty, ten two times also twenty only. 
means suppose rate of interest 10 percent for one year right for six months half year means how much is the rate of interest one year 10 percent for six months five percent okay now in three years means six half years will come right five 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 six times you like what is five into six 30 10 into 3 also there is no change that is why they don't discuss half yearly quarterly in this case but what about what about compound interest my dear if it is compound half yearly you know rate of interest how much you say 10 percent for one year half yearly means five percent three years how many half yearlies will come six times then what you have to do you know here 105, 105, 105, 6 times we will write. Is it 105 percent whole power 6 is equal to 110 percent whole cube? No. There is a change. In fact, 105 percent whole power 6 will give more amount compared to 110 percent whole power 3. Why 105 percent? Why 105? Half yearly. For year it is 10 percent. For half year, 5 percent. Why whole power 6? Why 6 times? Six half year lease. That's the only change. Why we need again formulas? This is what I'm telling you. If you understand, you can create. If suppose quarterly means how many quarterlies? In three years, 12 quarterlies will come. Every year, four quarterly. Three years means three into four, 12. Then whole power 12. But what is the rate of interest? 10% for one year, 5% for half year, 2.5% for quarterly. So 102.5 percent whole power, whole power 12. That's it. Completed quarterly. Why again? If you see textbook, they'll give five formulas. This is for annually. This is for quarterly. This is for half yearly. They'll do some change. Power 2n, power 4n. Here r by 100, r by 200. You don't know why they did dividing by 200, why by 400. All those not nothing. That's what understand the concept. Avoid formulas. You can create your own formulas here. You can develop many formulas if you understand the concept. Right. Now see the same thing. A simple interest we are talking about. Principal how much? 10,000. Interest is calculated on? Whether it is simple interest or compound interest, same sentence. In profit and loss, whether it is profit or loss, both calculated on cost price. Here also whether it is simple interest or compound interest, both are calculated on principal. Okay. Now first year. First year, what is the rate of interest? 10%. So simple interest for first year, 10% of 10,000, which is 1,000. Very important part, what we discussed in simple interest, interest is, interest is not added to the principal. So principal is still 10,000 only. Second year also 10% only. Again, 1,000 only we'll get to. Yeah, you are not adding here. We clearly mentioned that's what the difference. We are not adding interest to the principal. Third year also same thing. Thousand only. So all three together, three thousand. So simple interest for three years is three thousand. Compound interest is 3,310. Simple interest is less. You check it out. 3,000. Sir, where is that addition effect, sir? I'll let you know. Don't worry. I'll mention simply. One line, we can justify that. Why that addition? Sir, I know I equal to P tier band that you are, you are wish you can use. I don't worry about it. But this is how the formula also developed. I equal to Peter and also developed because from this point only. Interest calculated on principle. Right. So how that addition? First year, how much interest? Rate of interest, 10%. Second year, 10%. Third year, 10%. This should be calculated on principle. So 30% of principal. Principal is 10,000. 10% means 1,000. 30% means 3,000. Completed. This is why we call addition effect. 10 plus 10 plus 10. Now see, if it is half yearly also, what is the change happen? 
This is half yearly. 5, 5, 5 by 6 times. This is also 13% only. That's why no change. That's why in simple interest, they never talk about quarterly, half yearly. If you do also, no change. If they mention fine, simple interest, okay, compound, uh, simple interest, quarterly case. Also same, you do annually or quarterly, no change going to happen. Right. Now, I hope you got the basic difference between simple interest and compound interest. Here we are not adding, there they added. Okay. So, and in fact, this is addition effect, there it's a multiplication effect. And in general, if you see, never we go with simple interest 120%, 130%, no. If you write 120%, what is the meaning? 100% plus 20%, 100% is principal, 20% is interest. Interest is added to the principal. Here I am writing 10 plus 10 plus 10, not 110, 110, 110. If I write 110%, means 100% principal, 10% interest, interest added to principal will come. But we have an idea in simple interest, interest is not added to principal. That's why going forward in any question, when you got rate of interest 5 percent, that means 5 percent only we will take, not 105. In compound interest, when it is 5 percent, we will take 105 percent. If it is 20 percent, means 120 percent. Try to get that point to your mind. Right. Now, what's the thing we are going to do is first we will discuss questions related to simple interest, then questions related to compound interest, then combination of both. Some questions they will give both data, especially in TCS, every question combination only they will give. Two questions guarantee in TCS paper, any paper you open, TCS, two questions from simple interest, compound interest, two questions from profit and loss. Until, unless you know the concept, you cannot crack. So I have 20 or 30 formulas in my mind. TCS question you cannot crack. If you know concept, then only you can do. And why I given three methodologies because of thesis only. Sometimes the third method is helpful for you. Sometimes first method, sometimes second method in compound interest. Everything here and there depends on situation we need to apply. Every method has its own advantages. Right. Now see the question related to compound interest. Simple interest, sorry. First simple interest, then we'll go for compound interest. Work on it, please. Everyone saw this question? Yeah, if you check it out, your answer 5 is correct. So first one, principal 500 rupees, okay. First they are doing 5% per annum, 3 years. Okay, in that what is the interest they are getting? The other situation is 4% per annum for 4 years. 5% per annum for 3 years means nothing but 15% that should be calculated on principal. This 4% per annum for 4 years means nothing but we can call it like a 16% that should be also calculated on principal. The difference is nothing but 1% of principal. 1% means 1 divided by 100, principal 500, cancel, you will get 5 rupees. No formulas, nothing. Simple 5, 5, 5, 15. 4, 4, 4, 4 times if you do, we'll hit 16. The difference is what? 1%. Interest is calculated on principle. That's why 15% on principle, 16% on principle we're calculating. Right? The difference is 1%. That's nothing but equal to 5. Rupees. Done. We'll see the next question if you are okay with this. Simple, sir. No, I want to use I equal to PT or Bandred. Then two interests will come I1 and I2. Take the difference of those two. Second question timing is two years, 73 days. Here, that's what every question. You are going to learn something. First question, you yeah, have two situations, differences. Now here, timing is 2 years, 73 days. So we know 73 days can be written as 1 by 5th of year. This already discussed, 73 days is 1 by 5th of year. Okay, now what is the rate of interest? 10% for 1 year. For 1 by 5th of the year? 
two percent for one by fifth of the year, right? Dividing by five. Divided by five, two percent for one by fifth of the year. Now, what is the interest? You know, first how many years is there? Two years. First year, ten percent. Second year, ten percent. Okay. For one by fifth of the year, two percent. This should be calculated on completed. Twenty-two percent of ten thousand, which is two thousand two hundred. Twenty-two percent means twenty-two divided by hundred. We'll get two thousand two hundred. Try to understand why one by fifth of the year. I hope you know. How we got this two percent also? I hope you understand. Divide by five. Dividing by five, left side and right side, we'll get two percent equal to one by fifth of the year. Any doubt in this question? No, sir. I want to apply e equal to p t r the hundred means in the time should be two one by five. Eleven by five. You have to take t back. In e equal to p t r the hundred, t always stands in terms of years only. If you want to apply, t is eleven by five. You have to take in that. <clears throat> Now, sir, this third question here we have excellent update. Third one same right? What's there? One moment. No issues. Yeah, this is the fourth question. Okay, we'll see the third one next after this. This is the fourth question in your booklet. Okay, no problem. Here they mention 800 become 956 in three years with certain rate of interest. R is something. What is the principle in that? 800. Very good. Timing is three years. We don't know rate of interest. Interest is 156 anyhow. So that's not required. In fact, no problem. The rate of interest is increased by 4%. What amount will rupees eight hundred become in three years? This is the question. If you know the concept, you know this question can be solved easily. There are same question you search here and there. Uh, many steps they'll calculate first interest from the rate of interest for the rate of interest four percent adding. Then what is the interest? They'll add it for eight hundred. Lot of drama is there, but here very simple thing with common sense. Always see the question in very simple note. Eight and become nine fifty six. So how much time taken? Three years. What is the rate of interest? We don't know. Let's say R percent per annum. No issues, right? I'm reading rate of interest is R. Okay. Generally the units is percentage per annum. Okay. Now question is eight hundred become how much? What is the time they given? Three years only. The rate of interest is what? R plus four percent. By default. Rate of interest should be per annum only. They are increasing four percent per annum. Right. This is the question. Previously eight hundred. Now also eight hundred. Previous timing three years. Now also three years. Previous rate of interest is R. Now rate of interest is R plus four. You will get more amount, right? Okay. Now listen. First, we can fix nine fifty six guarantee here. Why 956 guarantee? 800 here, 800 here. Three years, three years. R here, R here. So 956 guarantee. What is the extra? Four percent for one year. Excellent. That's important. How many years is there? Means 12 percent extra. This 12 percent should be on principal. What is the principal? That's it. Complete. 12 percent is 12 by 100. 100 100 cancel. 12 into 8 is 96. You'll get 1052. See how simple it is. <coughs> so 
sir i have to calculate r value why waste of time i want to calculate interest sir waste of time it's simple you have 800 here 800 there 3 years here 3 years rate of interest r there here also r available so 956 guarantee what's the extra 4% for one year that you need to understand by default rate of interest always per annum only okay 4% per one year as it is 3 years 12% extra but what out the total percent is interest only interest is calculated on principal so 12% of 800 will be 96 or else general procedure if you follow the textbooks what they do you know 800 become 956 means what is the interest 156 that is for 3 years for one year what is the interest that is on principal how much percentage they will get rate of interest then further they'll add 4 then they'll calculate for 800 what is that interest that will be added to 800 at the end that long procedure will be there okay if you follow the basic uh, maybe calculations and all but if you understand this logic it's very very simple sir i have i want okay so same question i just want to give some of you may have a doubt so so far without formula how to do rate of interest calculation i don't know sir but don't worry suppose sir only they given question like this 800 become 956 in 3 years with certain rate of interest i want to calculate r sir some people may have the doubt also in your mind how to calculate r sir one method you can use your formula okay without formula also i'll tell don't worry one method is using formula what is the interest here interest means what is the extra amount 156 principal timing i hope you can calculate r here in this way cancel those we'll get r value it's not a big deal right so r will be calculated the other method is interest is 156 in 3 years for one year divided by 3 we have to do that should be calculated on principal divided by 800 interest calculated a profit calculated on cost price means profit percentage is profit by cp into 100 profit calculated on cost price means we did profit percentage is profit by cp into 100 interest calculated on on principal interest percentage if you want means interest divided by principal into 100 but that is also for one year rate of interest is always for one year so first calculate interest for one year how much then calculate it on principal you know 156 for 3 years for one year what is the interest we can obtain divide by 3 then that should be calculated on 800 into 100% interest calculated on principal interest calculated on principal means interest rate is nothing but interest divided by p into 100 provided this should be for one year only you have to calculate r okay r this is instead of i percent you may confuse r interest calculated on principal interest should be taken for one year only if you want percentage means we need to multiply with 100 that's why i said profit percent for one year interest means profit only how much profit i got extra amount for one year is 156 divided by 3 that should be calculated on principal 800 as this percentage we need to multiply with 100 it's simple right no sir i am convenient with this right side formula it's your wish what are the method this method formula also developed from the same case only what is the exact value also i don't want i just want to inject the procedure for you maybe some questions they'll ask you to calculate rate of interest this is how you people can approach what is the interest for one year then that one with respect to principal into 100 that's what without formula or if you want formula right side you have any how you can use it that's all up to you there is no issues now see the next one i hope you understand this now let's go ahead with the next question
rate of interest on a sum of money is 4% per annum for first two years. So this question, this is the third one. Fourth one we saw, now we are going back to third one. The rate of interest on a sum of money is 4% per annum for the first two years, 6% per annum for the next four years, and 8% per annum beyond six years. If the simple interest accrued by the sum for a total period of nine years is 1,120, they got 1,120 as the interest after nine years. So for first two years, rate of interest is 4% only. Next to four years, it is 6%. Beyond six years, it is 8%. What is the ending point is the given time total period of nine years. Now you have to calculate sum means nothing but principal. I'm just putting that question in a simple way. This is how they given. For first to two years, rate of interest is 4% per annum. Next to four years means up to six years. Rate of interest is 6% per annum. Beyond that rate of interest is 8% per annum. But in question, last line they given total period of 9 years. So ending 9 years we came to know. Means this is there for 3 years, 8% per annum. This we know already for 4 years. This is for 2 years. And question they given, interest for 9 years is nothing but equal to 1,120. That is already given in the question. Interest for 9 years is 1,120. Right. Now, simple interest. What is the first two years interest? First two years rate of interest is 4% for one year. Two years means 8%. Next, 6% for one year. As this, four years means 16 to 4, 24%. I hope you understand right. Why? How you got 24 years? 6% for one year, like that, it is available for four years. 16 to 4. Next, 8% for one year, three years means 24. All this should be calculated on principal. And they given that is 1120. And they given that is 1120. If you add all this, you know, you will get 56%. So 56% of principal is 1,120. 56% means 56 divided by 100. Cancel. Hope you got. Principal is nothing but 2,000. Two thousand is the principal. Sum also same. Find the sum. Find the principal means same thing only. Two thousand. All these similar questions we are going to address in compound interest as well. We'll discuss all these scenarios in compound. If it is compound interest, what might be the case will happen? What we may do? If it is compound interest, P into P principal into 104 percent whole square, then 106 percent whole power 4 multiplied by 108 percent whole power 3 minus principal is 1120. Interest means from compound amount, principal should be removed. If it is compound interest question, then that's what the thing we need to do. P into 104 percent whole square multiplied by 106% whole power 4, multiplied by 108% whole power 3. For this entire value, principal should be removed. Interest means principal should be removed. Compound amount minus principal is compound interest. Right. Yeah, this is also in similar lines, actually. Okay, This question is also in similar lines. This is also, see, if you, yeah, it's not there in your booklet, no problem. Same question, okay, there we mentioned 4% for 2 years, here I mentioned 6% for 3 years, 9% for next 5 years, there I mentioned in your booklet, previous question I am talking about, this is similar to previous question, 
in exams that's what they'll change small small values and they'll ask similar questions right so understand the concept the knowledge what we are giving is sufficient for any competitive exam so i want to write ssc cgl okay sufficient tcs sufficient we are giving keeping in mind all competitive exams placements as well as your private sector or public sector jobs everything now there is one question where they given certain sum of money at simple interest amounts to rupees 1260 okay we'll see the next question before going for us before this year there is one more question related to simple interest here a certain sum of money at simple interest amounts to when now they use the word amount means its principal plus interest amount is generally principal plus interest that is why compound amount compound amount is having principal plus interest If you want interest, we are removing principal because of that. But now they use the word amount. It is principal plus interest only. But here this interest is simple interest. Compound amount means in that their interest is compound interest. Amount is basically is in principal plus interest. So this thousand two sixty is principal plus how many years interest? Two years interest. Let us say X is interest for one year. i'm taking x rupees is interest for one year then two years interest means 2x next one 1350 is amount after amount after five years means principal plus five years interest if you see the basic example which we discussed in simple interest first year 1000 second year also 1000 third year also 1000 3 years 3000 we got That is why first year x means second year also x, third year also x, fourth year x, fifth year x. Total interest will be five x. <coughs> right. Now, what they want rate of interest? For rate of interest, we already said interest for one year on principal. So interest for one year means I want x value. Principal means p value required into hundred. Interest is x for one year, calculating on principal p. In 200 is what rate of interest. If you want to use formula, it's your wish, but this is how we'll calculate. Now I want x value as well as p value. If you take difference, what will happen? Take differences. P P get cancelled. Left side 90, right side 3x. So x equal to 30. And put x value 30 here. 2 into 30 is 60. Principal will be 1200. so now interest calculated on principal for one year one year that's important rate of interest is always for one year so x is nothing but 30 principal is 1200 into 100 this two zeros this two zeros cancel 65 times 62 times 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 2.5% by divided by 2 No sir, I can use I equal to P T L hundred. Your wish, my dear. No objection in that. We are stick on for that interest calculated on principal. We are using that methodology. How we got this three x and ninety is taking difference between these two. Take difference between those two equations. You will get okay. Left side ninety P P get cancelled. Right side three x. So x value is thirty. Then substitute x value thirty in the first equation. Sir, you didn't mention this is first one, this is second one. This is not semester exams, not university exams, not required. We need to do it in short, less number of lines.
else my job is simple two equations two unknowns you work on it calculate x and p that's it what are the way you want you do i want x and p once you got x and p my rate of interest is interest calculated on principal for one year into 100 as x is already for one year so i'm taking directly 30 divided by 200 into 100 if it is x is for two years means i should convert for one year then divide by principal into 100 Done with this question? Right. Next one. Yeah, still some questions related to simple interest and compound interest also we have. At least one question. Yeah, this one question with that simple interest will be closed. One question. Then we'll see regarding compound interest in the next section. No problem. So one question related to simple interest. See that next one. A serious question. This is what we call like sixth question, previous one fifth question. Six questions related to simple interest, then compound interest. Then we'll see about combination as well. Here, what they given a sum of money. A lot of people think about some answer, but it may be wrong. Okay, that's why focus here. A sum of money triples itself in seven years. Okay, how much time it required for 27 times? There's a lot of people doing this question like, sir, triple, okay, 3. Here, 27 means 3 into 9, 7 into 9, 63, you may think about. But see the methodology, okay. Some some money become triple, right? Let's say 100 rupees is there. It become how much? 300. Okay, this increase is because of interest, right? How much interest you got? How much interest you got? Amount become triple, right? Extra amount you got because of what? Interest. What is the interest here? 200. This is obtained in 7 years. Amount triple, agreed. Okay. Uh, so why 100? You take some amount P also. P become 3P. Extra 2P because of 7 years. That extra amount is interest. That you understand. Now, amount should become how much? 20. 7 times means 2000. What is the interest? Interest is 2600. For 200 rupees interest, you take in 7 years. Okay, now for 2600 rupees interest, how much time taken is? 91 years. Multiplied by 30. 200 should become 2600 minutes, you should multiply by 13. 1, 3, then it becomes, so here also 7 into 1, 3, 91 years. This is the problem, many people may think about 63, but answer is 91 years. That extra interest Okay, 100 become 300 means you got interest 200 rupees. To generate 200 rupees interest, 7 years. As rate of interest above and below, same only. Previously, what is the rate of interest? Now also same rate of interest. Now, that same principle. Previously, same principle. Now also same principle. Previously, what are rate of interest? Now also same rate of interest. So same effect will be there. For 200 rupees, 7 years means. For 2600 rupees, it will take... 7 into 13, 91 years for sure. So answer is option B, not 63. Many will answer this question as 63, but answer is 91 years. And similar things, if you see your booklet, we given in compound interest also. We'll address those compound interest in combination in the next class. Today we are done with introduction and only simple interest related stuff. Okay, introduction and simple interest. 
In next session, we will address regarding compound interest and simple interest and compound interest combination only will be discussed. These two done, pending tasks are this. This will be addressed in the next session. These are pending, we will see that. Right.